We did get a big announcement from the defense secretary yesterday, Ash Carter. I like his well, name. It just sounds like a cartoon character to me. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't Ash, was Ash the character in Pokemon? I think so, yeah. Yeah? <laughs> uh, all U.S. military... you, I choose you. <laughs> How about to women? I choose you. All U.S. military <laughs> combat positions are being opened up to women. But, like, is it me or does yeah. he not sound too happy about this? All positions be opened to qualified women by January 1st, 2016. That is... Less than one month from today. Uh-huh. Oh, wow. Uh, I know, right? It sounds like uh, uh, like uh, Eeyore from uh, Winnie the Pooh. You know, Mr. Feels like we're going to have an earthquake. <laughs> you know, Mr. Down in the Dumps guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this does include infantry, armor, reconnaissance, uh, some special operations units. Secretary of Defense, is that open? <laughs> no word on that. But uh, the Marine Corps. <laughs> Maybe that's why he's bummed out. Was a little upset. They were like, can you think about this again? They had sought exceptions yeah. to keep positions like uh, machine gunner, fire support, yeah. all of that to men. A Marine Corps study uh, suggested that all male squads are more effective in combat and less likely to be injured than integrated groups. But uh, there will be no exceptions. Thirty days. That's when it'll take effect. He said. Well, they got. You know, they had the, the one or two women that became Army Rangers. Yeah. I mean, yep. and they did everything that they, you know, that they didn't lessen the physical standard. Right. So they they had to do everything that was just regular basic Ranger training. And they passed the course. Mm-hmm. We did it. Yeah. So uh, we now know who's going to be playing the Super Bowl halftime show. The NFL went with Coldplay. Anybody excited? Wow. Chris Martin. You know, there's a lot of people that kind of wish the, the Coldplay story and the Stone Temple Pilot story oh, no. were reversed. <laughs> Chris Martin was pretty pumped about this. Hi, I'm Chris. I'm from Coldplay. We're so excited and honored and thrilled mm-hmm. to be uh, yeah, playing the I halftime are. show. It's going to yeah. be wonderful. And I hope we'll see you there. No, yeah, thank you, Chris. Reports. I hope Gwenny shows up and makes everybody a celery. <laughs> yeah, right. That'll be delicious. Something organic, I hope. <laughs> According to reports, Beyonce. Remember when she was like, "I'm going to live off of twenty eight dollars or whatever the uh, the the food stamps." Yeah, she was going to live uh, at the food stamp level. Yeah, and she quit after like a day yeah. or two days. Because <laughs> she spent all her hours. money on organic limes and was like, "Oh wait, that was a bad idea." Right. Well, I, I don't <laughs> know how to shop, so well. Gwyneth Paltrow. <laughs> yeah. Um, formerly uh, Chris Martin's wife. Yeah, consciously they, uncoupled. They con- Consciously uncoupled. Mm-hmm. Now he is going to consciously play then. He I'm will, yeah, at yeah. the halftime show, he, allegedly yeah. uh, with Beyonce. Actually, are those nachos whole grain? Might be joining them. Uh, I bet he just eats like all the junk food. Oh he my can god! Find now can you imagine? <laughs> yeah. Eat tasty double. cakes yep. <laughs> and uh, devil dogs, Twinkies. <laughs> He's in Wawa four in the morning, right. three in the morning, just 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 Reese cups and chocolate covered pretzels, whatever. Abs you can all find. the time, Beef jerky, all the freaking time. For sure. You know what? I want I want the Hardee's double thick burger. <laughs> yeah, with dripping with the sauce. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, according to reports, Beyonce might be joining them for him on the weekend, whatever that is, that okay. song. Uh, the NFL says other acts will join them. I saw like seven people texted us the words Jennifer Lawrence. Is that what they're talking about? As joining him? I don't think that could possibly uh, be. No, I, I, that might be something else. Okay, Coldplay's new album, A Head Full of Dreams, comes out today. So Yeah, Jennifer Lawrence doesn't do timing. music to yeah, my Yeah, I know. That's why I yeah. was like, when, that's, uh, uh, I don't recall her doing music. Maybe she'll come out and shoot someone with a bow and arrow. Yeah. Now, that'd be awesome. You'd pay to see Katniss do that at the I'd halftime show. Maybe, yep. maybe that's how it ends. Yeah. She bow and arrows Coldplay. <laughs> That would change things. Oh, that yeah. might be good. Yeah. <laughs> well, at what point does Coldplay become old play? You know what I mean? <laughs> I think we're there. A couple Wait, years are ago. we there? A couple no, years ago? No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and then finally, in the news today, yeah. the sweetest Christmas ad of the year is not the one from that German grocery store that's been going around where the family sends grandpa a note saying they're not coming for dinner this year. So he pretends to die. And then when they all show up at his house to mourn him, he like walks out of the kitchen with the dinner table set, candles lit, and uh, the family's all happy that he's there and they all have really? dinner together. Oh, you know, wow. This has been going around. It has people crying. Yeah, <laughs> I've seen that one. I saw the news covering did it yesterday. It? I did. It's, did you cry? No, it actually kind of made me, wouldn't it kind of make you mad for somebody to play dead on you? I mean, that's just not, I mean, sure, you're happy to have them alive, but how (laughs) how are you going to play dead? Your grandfather punks you as being dead, and then then everyone just is all happy. Right, yeah. Wouldn't you just be shocked and yelling at him and angry? Yeah. Yeah. Cause somebody to have, you know, you're mourning In real life, you'd be screaming at the old man. Scrambling to get Shove his head in an oven. Yes. (laughs) I'll teach you. Uh, but in an Lie to me. ad more touching than that. Really, it's just oh, a lot oh, of Oh, wait, that's not the right one. Yeah. Damn. All right. How about this one? Yes. 
And an ad more touching than that is an ad with a family opening their presents, mom and dad all excited with their kids, probably 20-somethings, home from college, a boy and a girl. They're opening up tablets, taking selfies. The daughter gets a Polaroid camera, starts taking some family photos. As they're posing, you see grandpa in the background. He's sitting in a chair, making a grumpy face, not having a good time at all. And so the son, 20-something-year-old, nerdy-looking son, picks up an envelope that has a bow on it, walks over to Grandpa, raises his eyebrows. Grandpa opens it, jumps up, hugs the kid, a tear rolling down his face. And the camera pans down to show what was in that envelope. A Pornhub gift card. <laughs> yeah! End scene. <laughs> it is really touching, though. It's, like, surprising. <laughs> Here, Grandpa, I got you something from Pornhub. <laughs> Merry Christmas. I was going to come down your chimney. <laughs> But I figured you'd take care of that on your own. <laughs> That's exactly what Enjoy the Pornhub. <laughs> uh, the Pornhub vice president said, with the holidays upon us, we wanted yeah. to provide our community with the opportunity to give the most touching gift of all to their loved ones. As the Huffington Post put it, the ad's message may rub some the wrong way. Uh, BroBible.com said yeah. that there are a lot of merits to giving a porno gift card. That's Nobody right. wants a fruitcake. Cologne is a personal choice, something a guy should buy for himself. And those rollerblades you're planning on buying off eBay are not nearly as ironic and quirky as you think they are. So this is just perfect. That sounds fantastic. This holiday, let Pornhub say happy birthday, Jesus to all the adult members in your family. It's a stocking stuffer. Yeah, it is. Speaking of stuffing, hey. Santa's coming down your chimney with a gift card to point out. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Jesus. <laughs> Merry Christmas. And God bless us, everyone. Where's Tiny Tim? <laughs> I have a Pornhub gift card in my pants pocket. <laughs> Come here, boy. Bring me the boy. That'd be a great ending to uh, Ebenezer Scrooge. Yes. He hands out Pornhub cards to all of Bob Cratchit's family. And you're getting a gift card, and you're getting a gift card. Cratchit, come in here. <laughs> Bring me some lard or something slippery. <laughs> <laughs> How weird would that be to get, like, from uh, Grandpa or something? Anybody though? ever get porno as a gift? I mean, do they do that? I mean, uh, I realize they're trying to start something here. Is it but, like a bro present? First of all, uh -huh. I don't... For, uh, you could just go to Pornhub, right? Yeah. yeah. Why, why am I gift carding that? There's, it's all free. It's the internet. I wouldn't why, know. What I would you do? What Is there anybody who's got a, uh, an actual... Thank you, Rod. <laughs> Is there anybody who's got an actual membership? And, and what... Is it about having a membership that's better than the free stuff that they'll give you? It's like going to mm. Sam's Club on Appetizer Day. Mm -hmm. You go on a Saturday, you don't have to eat all day long. Yeah, right? Why should I buy dinner? <laughs> I can get pinwheels over here, a little right. piece of pork tenderloin or whatever. You can go on the internet. I can go to Pornhub. Uh, you porn. Yeah, you uh, just type in the kind hamster, that you want, and you'll find um, it. X, uh, whatever. The red is tube. there one of them that's like all the, the like? It's got about seven different porno sites under one roof, and you can get free porn. I wish I knew of any <laughs> genre no, right yeah. there. Yeah. Exactly. Why would you want to buy a membership? What 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 do you get for your membership? We should look that up because I don't know the benefits. Does of like once a year a hand reach out of your hard drive <laughs> and? Hard drive. No. <laughs> just he fed hard drive. <laughs> it's just virtual. I just don't point. know. I, yeah. I, I, yeah. I don't know. Ones and zeros. I don't know either. Please don't get me that. <laughs> Damn. All right. No. I'll rethink Shoot. it. Shoot. No. I'm already planning it. Uh, sunny skies today. A high in the low 50s. Clear tonight. A low down around 33. And then sunny for the rest of the weekend. Highs getting close to 60. Right now it is 44 degrees. And I am Shelly for Rumble in the Morning on FM 99. Oh, good. Christmas is still playing. Thank you. 7.20 now at FM 99 WNR. Bring the phone up real quick. Sure. This might have something to do with that halftime show business. 99, hello. Hi. Um, hey. Well, I was just calling to yeah. let you guys know that uh, they're texting you Jennifer Lawrence because that's who he was dating after he uncoupled. Thank oh, you. Yes. Okay. That was it. God bless you because I tried to think of that last hour and I couldn't think of the young hottie that he was dating. Yeah. yeah, so he goes from Gwyneth oh, Paltrow yeah. to Jennifer Lawrence. Oh, yeah. That is a great trade. <laughs> that, that is an awesome <laughs> trade. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'd have stayed with that. Just Thank you. Appreciate wise. that. Not even just oh, looks. She's playful. Yeah. She's, she seems fun. She did sing also. 
Which Jennifer was, Lawrence yeah, sang she, in the movie? Yeah, it was the yeah. Mockingjay Part 1. Yeah. It's, uh, do you want to hear it? Oh, you have it? Yeah. A little bit. What's it sound like? Let's see. You want to bring it up? Okay, I can't. It kind of sounds kinda, like Mel Gibson's. Got a little girl. Celtic feel going on there a little bit. A little, sounds like she's perfect to join Coldplay. Yeah, I, tell you, I was going to go with that, yeah. Yeah, they musically have a lot in common. All right, and thank you, Adam. Appreciate that. There you go. Well, well, we learned something. I'm going to go back to this Pornhub conversation. Yeah. Let's stop that right in its tracks. Oh, I got it? that one right here. Yeah, I got that? Good. All right, bring, bring that one up. Boy, <laughs> <laughs> 721 right here at FM 99. WNOR, it's Friday morning, and on Fridays we traditionally do this. This is the news you missed. From the FM 99 studios in Chesapeake, here's Rick Rumbaugh. Yes, it's time once again for the fake news. Thank you, Kira O'Brien, and welcome to the news you missed. Uh, we start today on Capitol Hill, where Congress this week challenged the validity of the president's Thanksgiving turkey pardons. <laughs> Speaker of the House Paul Ryan referenced the Federal Poultry Powers Act in questioning the president's authority, while Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid defended the action, saying, I physically look so much like a turkey, he may have to pardon me one day. <laughs> a White House spokesperson, Josh Earnest, had no comment, but did almost drown once when he stood outside looking up into the rain. <laughs> that is a 2% turkey joke, but enjoy it. <laughs> enjoy it, bitches. Following the birth of his first child, Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg announced this week that he plans to donate 99% of his Facebook stock to charity. The stock is valued at $45 billion. Zuckerberg says the big giveaway will start as soon as his page gets a billion likes <laughs> and you tell him in three words or less how you met. Okay. okay. Tell me what I mean to you, or you're not going to be my friend list anymore. I mean it. <laughs> hey, this portion of the news you missed is brought to you by the Skanky Candle Company. All right. Skanky candles leaving strange smells on your wick since 1975. <laughs> Uber announced this week that it's testing a new color coding system so that Uber users don't get their Ubers mixed up. Don't get your Ubers in a bunch, all right? <laughs> uh, the Uber app will tell you what color to look for, and then that color will appear on the windshield of your particular Uber in any sort of gaggle of Ubers that may occur. <laughs> Not to be outdone, Lyft says that they've developed a system which makes their cars smell differently. <laughs> hey, are you waiting for pepperoni pizza? No, mine is stripper cologne. Oh, anybody order a car that smells like farts? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, dude, that's not the car. Yeah. I apologize. <laughs> I apologize. And finally this morning, scientists say that they've discovered the potential origin of a phenomenon known as fast radio burst. It's a hyper-speedy burst of magnetic radio energy Energy, comes from outer space. They've been trying to track it for at least 10 years. The National Science Foundation's Green Bank Telescope in West Virginia has finally been able to record one of these fast radio bursts. We actually have the fast radio burst here. Here, listen. See if you got to listen carefully, though. Good morning, 710, 200 degrees Kelvin outside on a hot, wet hump day in the galaxy. Secret Sound Scouts says giving them some 42, followed by celebrity birthdays and those deep space horrible scopes. But first, which member of One Direction was seen making a skinny jeans pup tent despite a major back knee flare-up when he ran out of proactive? I'll tell you, Tinseltown Trash is coming up next. <laughs> That is the radio fast. Amazing. Ah. Scientists say the discovery gets mankind one step closer to being caller number 10. <laughs> Every week, stories of all kinds make up the news, and so do I. For the news you missed here on FM 99, I'm Rick Rumble. Thank you, Rick. Fantastic work. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeoman-like work. 725, Rod, coming up in sports. The Lions took it up the shoot last night, Rick, thanks to the referees. I'll explain also Twitter reaction to the announcement that Coldplay is playing the halftime <laughs> of the Super Bowl. And it was a big night, a big night for Jake Butt. Fantastic. Yeah. All right, that sports is coming up next. You're listening to Rumble in the Morning on FM 99. Start your holiday shopping now with the Rock Solid Deals Christmas Shop. Do you have a membership to a porno website? No, but I found out that my 50-year-old son did. <laughs> oh, oh, dude, how did this happen? Well, I got, I got my, my phone bill from my studio my, my came in, and they had all these extra charges. And I'm like, what are these charges for, third-party charges? Mm -hmm. So I asked my son, he goes, I don't know what they are, Dad, maybe a game or something. Like, okay, whatever. So the next month, they started getting more and more. It was like $1.99 a week. 
Yeah. And I, uh, I talked to all the friends, and I got to find out what they did, and they were kind of reluctant to tell me, but they eventually did break down and tell me what it was. Yeah, a premium pass access to Pornhub, dollar ninety nine a week, or uh, thirty five cents each time you go to the website. I, you know, and I, I love the fact that your son doesn't goof around. He went for the premium package, which is, you know, obviously this man knows style. Yeah. This portion of Rumble in the Morning is brought to you by Holiday Games from the Virginia Lottery. They're back. This year, give the gift of games. FM 99 traffic. In Chesapeake, an accident still there, 64 west after George Washington Highway. It's blocking the left lane, causing delays on what you would normally see at this time of the morning anyway, just a little bit earlier, you know. I'm Stephen Hill for Rumble in the Morning, FM 99. All right, it's 731 now at FM 99. WNOR, let's check on sports. Live from the Fleet Enema Desk. Here he is, Rod Fitzwell. Thank you very much, Rick. Staying uh, warm and frothy up here. Uh, sports coming at you courtesy of air conditioning specialists. Get 0% APR for 72 months or $1,000 trade-in on qualifying train equipment. That with approved credit. Restrictions apply. Visit acspecialist.net. For details, it's acspecialist.net. Once again, the NFL referees hosed the team. And last night it was the Lions. Thursday night football on CBS. Detroit winning this game 23-20. Or I should say, it was winning but up 23-21. Uh, Packers have one last chance to try to get that thing in the end zone. They run a play. Aaron Rodgers completes a pass, and then the laterals begin because they want to try to get it down the field and in the end zone because right. there's no time on the clock. Rodgers ends up with the ball again. He is tackled by a Lions defender named Devin Taylor at that point, and this is what happened. We got a flag. The game's not over. The weirdest thing, weirdest thing, he was actually their number two choice. Really? <laughs> There you go. And finally this, uh, a couple of days ago when, when I reported that David Price had signed for $217 million with the Red Sox. Yeah. Uh, free agent pitcher, formerly of the last team he played for was the Blue Jays. He was in the playoffs. Uh, I just gave you the facts. Straight up, bam, in and out. Right. I work in Norfolk, Virginia. Now I'm going to play you the guy that works in New York City, major sports So this is guy. the way it's supposed to be done. Is yes, this is the way it's supposed yeah. to be done. His name is Mike Francesa on WFAN. He also is simulcast on television on Fox Sports 1. Here's Mike Francesa reporting about the David Price deal. Price deal dwarfed what would have been the largest contract forever for a Red Sox pitcher. Uh, uh, <laughs> Dombrowski, blah, blah, blah. Uh, last season, 18-5 and five with a 2-4-5 ERA. All right, so... Yeah, that's great. Every now and then we'll get a, a text message to, to yeah. the show complaining about something I said. You just, you just remember Mike Francesa, okay? There you go. That's the way it's supposed to be that's, done, dude. That's how you do yeah. it. Finally, this. Uh, here's your fun fact. The octopus yeah. is so intelligent that the United Kingdom uh, considers them honorary vertebrae for the purpose of protecting them with their animal cruelty laws. No kidding. Yeah. They're that smart, right? They're smart. I'll tell you what. Uh, I keep one in the kitchen just to open jars. <laughs> Those things are fantastic. <laughs> I mean, you just throw it a jar, and it's in there. Bam! You got good grippies. Have, have a problem yep. with your uh, tomato sauce? No issue here. Can't get the pickles open? No problem here. Give it to the octopus. All right, 740 now at FM 99 WNOR, 366-9999. Got a guy on hold that's going to explain to us what you get for your premium Porn Hub membership. <laughs> now I'm, you know, I am of the opinion that there's free porn everywhere. There's there's porn on the internet like there's uh, like there's grass growing outdoors. It's just everywhere. But apparently there are things to be gained from having a membership, and we'll explore those things coming up next. This is Rumble in the Morning on FM 99. A map is an important part of any military operation. You can't plan without one. Let me grab the line one there. 99, good morning. Hey, good morning. How are you guys? Good, buddy. What's going on today? Hey, not much. I just, I got to know, you know, all this hoopla over Coldplay at halftime. I got to know, Rod, Coldplay or Nickelback? I just, I got to know. Nickelback. Oh, oh. N I'm, I'm going Nickelback close. before Coldplay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't care either way. I, I'm not going to watch either one. But right. it, it gun to my head, if I got to, I'd rather watch Nickelback mm -hmm. 100 out of 100 You know, times. the Coldplay guy is going to wear the man bun at some point. Uh, he probably has a man yeah. bun. Thank you, sir, for the call. Lovely. 99, hi. Hey, I was hey. actually uh, talking about the premium membership. Ah, you have a premium porno membership, sir? 
<laughs> no, I'm not that close. Okay, I was just going to ask if you've worn the uh, fingerprints off that hand yet. But go ahead. <laughs> no, no, I got a friend who's a porn connoisseur. Really? And uh, he's been a sewer. Not a lot of people know that you can actually go to Google.com and just go to video and type in anything you want to watch videos free off of. Google. Yeah, well, that's my point. I mean, the internet is the Sam's Club of porno. You, exactly. There's free food everywhere, there's free porno everywhere on the internet. So if you're paying for it, what are you getting? FM 99 Traffic. Check one, two. In Chesapeake, an accident, 64 West. It's after George Washington Highway blocking the left lane and the left shoulder. You are seeing heavy traffic out of Bowers Hill from military. I'm Stephen Hill, Rumble in the Morning, FM 99. I like it, Stephen. Oh, I just knocked the guy's go. camera over. There you go. Uh -oh. Excuse me, yeah, camera man. Yeah, you might want to. Oh, yeah. George, you're going to have to reposition your uh, cam, your asset, okay. George. Is, yes. Is everything there okay? Right. Yeah. Just you good? Put, you good? Hello? Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> you're not going to junk shot that one like you did at those people's <laughs> wedding, are you? <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't your camera, sir. Was he? He's looking, he's, oh, that's his camera. He's got one yeah, eye on this, me. See, it's the still shot there. That's the, and then so, he's yeah. the roving camera okay, over here. Because I gestured at the end. George Junak is here in the studio, uh, um, making a, a like an industry <laughs> video for the for the radio industry to to show people, you know. <laughs> How it works. How do you so, do no, actually, this is more like the Feed the Starving Children <laughs> video, really, See, if I you think about it. I want to show the shot yeah. on you, but I don't want to yeah. touch it anymore. It's probably <laughs> better if you just back away slowly yeah. like it's just some sort of a dangerous device. And I'm sorry, sir. Call local authorities. There you go. Thank you, Steve. A silent presence Probably you didn't learn us. that growing up on Lake Michigan. All right, uh, yeah. so 747 <laughs> now. NFM 99 WNOR. Moments ago, um, we were talking about this. I, I can't remember. How did it come up? Pornhub membership. Oh, it was a commercial. There was yeah. a commercial that's uh, been playing, I guess, on them internets, where where uh, Grandpa receives some sort of Pornhub membership. It's like in an envelope. It's got all the traditional Christmas timey stuff. The music's playing, and he gives him an envelope with a bow on it, and Grandpa opens it. And it's a card for Pornhub. Mm -hmm. And we were trying to discover, for the life of us, what do you get? for a membership to a porn site in a world where all the porno is free. I mean, we live in a in an absolute, a porn-rich environment. Mm -hmm. it, I mean, let's be, the internet was made for that. It, it, it's perfect. It's the golden age of porn, yeah. according to Adam. I was just going to say So that. with all of that said, <laughs> why would you ever join? Who, who gets these things, he says, uh -huh. in a Seinfeldian, who gets these things? <laughs> who pays way? for this? 366 The man on line one apparently has an answer who pays for these. 99, good morning. Hey, good morning. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing all right. I got a little insight on the uh, Pornhub thing. Okay, go. Uh, uh, do you have a membership to a porno website? No, but I found out that my 15-year-old son did. <laughs> oh, oh, dude, how did this uh, happen? Uh, well, I got, I got my, my phone bill from, uh, from uh, my scrub bill that came in, and they had all these extra charges. And I'm like, what are these charges for? It's third-party charges. Mm -hmm. So I asked my son. He goes, I don't know what they are, Dad. Maybe a game or something. Like, okay, whatever. So the next month, they started getting more and more. It was like $1.99 a week. Yeah, and I, uh, I so I called Sprint and said, "Hey, I got to find out what this is." And they were kind of reluctant to tell me, but they eventually did break down and tell me what it was. Yeah, a premium pass access to Pornhub, a dollar ninety nine a week, or uh, thirty five cents each time you go to the website. I, you know, and I, I love the fact that your son doesn't goof around. He went for the premium package, which is yeah, no, obviously no this man knows style. Yeah. Uh, have you talked to him about it then? Oh yeah, we we resolved the issue. There there will be no more. <laughs> yeah, there will be no more data charges on the phone. Don't is there, is, there, is there a part of this? I mean, obviously you you, you know we're talking about they, there's phones and and records of this stuff everywhere in the digital world, and at some point you got to ask yourself how much you really want to know. Well, and that's what I I told him. I said, look, I said as long as it was. I guess you could say normal, if there is such a thing as normal. <laughs> if any of these titles begin with the word barnyard, you're not coming out of your room for the next year. Yeah, exactly. So, But, yeah, that's, that's, that's my story on that. That was going to be my next question was, did you check out any of the titles? But you know what? Well, I'm going to spare you that embarrassment. Thank you, sir. I, we appreciate the call. There we go. 366-9999. Hold on there. 750 now at FM 99 WNOR. We were um, talking about all the free porn now. One of the, the, the casualties, if you think about this, of free porn mm -hmm. is what happens to the porn stars. They got to eat, too. Yeah. Right now, 
people are suffering. The current recession has hit our country hard. And amongst the hardest hit is a group of people you may not have considered. Porn stars. Hello, I'm Dick Bending for Save the Porn Stars. Our nation's adult film industry is amongst the hardest hit by our current economic downturn. And all across America, porno actors and actresses are having to take real jobs just to get by. This is a tragedy that doesn't have to happen. Your generous donation to Save the Porn Stars will ensure that no pair of massive mammaries has to spend yet another minute locked up inside of a 7-Eleven smock. Sign up now and you'll receive monthly graphic DVD progress reports from your adopted porn star, along with a handwritten note and a soiled G-string. Hi. Thanks for the money. I was beginning to think that my next facial would be at the beauty salon. Thanks again. Bye. Porn stars are hurting. What are you going to do about it? Pick up the phone and call Save the Porn Stars right now. For just $8.95 a minute, you can make a nurse naughty again yeah. and get her back on her back where she belongs. Save the porn stars from a real job to a <laughs> job. All it takes is you. <laughs> I think it's only fair that you do your part. That's all. That's what I say. Save the <laughs> save the porn save the porn save. There's so much porno, it's bleeding into the radio. Like unbelievable. <laughs> you can't even stop the porno. It should be one for stop the porno. All right, 752, here at FM 90. Is that the intro? Here at FM 99, WNOR. Uh, coming up in a few minutes, Joey from Full House joins us. Dave Coulier will be up here. He's at the Funny Bone tonight and tomorrow night. We'll talk to Dave. Get your traffic update and head into the newsroom. It's all coming up next. This is Rumble in the Morning on FM 99. For the military community, trust is more than a word. WNOR HD1 Norfolk. Online at FM99.com and on Facebook and Twitter at FM99WNOR. 